Okay, so we did a lot of solving of inequations, how to get the solutions. And as mentioned earlier, the best form of solving an inequation would be to understand the entire range of values which could satisfy it. And what better way than using a graph? So how can we use a graph sheet or the concept of graph or graphical representation of an inequation? Now, before we get into the actual concept of solving an inequation, let us understand a few things about the graph xy plane itself. Let's move ahead and see. So here we have the graph sheet with us. So we have the, it's basically a graph, as we all know, is a combination of two number lines, two number lines which are mutually perpendicular to each other. So we have this as the y-axis and this is the x-axis. And here you have the various values. For example, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and so forth. And much the same way here you have the negative part. This is the negative x-axis. So we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and so forth. So to the right of this point of intersection which is called the origin you have the, all the positive values and to the left of the origin are all the negative values of x we call them as coordinates so there are infinite values of x on the left and infinite values on the right so right of the origin you have all positive coordinates of x left of the origin you have all the negative coordinates of x much the same way we have the y-axis so y axis is the vertical axis. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10 and so on. So hence this is the positive part of the y axis. So this is the positive part of the y axis. This is the positive part of the x axis. And here you have the negative part of the x axis. Here is the positive part of the y-axis and below you have all the negative parts of the x-axis. That is all the negative coordinates of the y-axis. So we have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and minus 6 and so on and so forth. Now, every point in a graph on, a, on an x-y plane as we call it since we are dealing with x-axis and the y-axis, we call this as an x-y plane has two coordinates. In short, it is like the address of a particular point, which is unique for that particular point. Now, using these, how can we draw various types of lines? Now, to draw an inequation, we need to first understand the border of the region, which is nothing but the equation associated with that inequality. Say, for example, when we consider x is greater than or equal to 5. Now to find out which range of values satisfy this inequation, we have to first understand what is x is equal to 5. And that will form the boundary of the region which will be covered by x is greater than or equal to 5. So let's see what is x is equal to 5. First of all, what is what do we understand by x is equal to 5? When you say x is equal to 5, it is that line in which every point has the x coordinate as 5. So we count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you look at it, this point is x is equal to 5. So this will be 5, comma 0, 5, comma 1, 5, comma 2, 5, comma 3, 5, comma 4. Much the same way here you have 5, comma minus 1, minus 2. So every point has x coordinate as 5. So if you join these points, you get this particular line. Now this line is the line that is x is equal to 5. So we have x is equal to 5 is this particular line. So this is x is equal to 5. If you look at the point here, this will be 6 comma 0. This will be 6 comma 2, 6 comma 3, 7 comma 0, 8 comma 4 and so on and so forth. So all the values to the right of this particular line will be x greater than 5. And if you look at these points, you take a point here, you have x is nothing but 1, x is 2, 
x is 3. So you take any point, you have various numbers like 1, 2, various combinations 1, 2, 1, 3, minus 1, 4. So all these ranges of numbers of coordinates, pairs of coordinates will have their x coordinate less than 5. So we have x, this region that is to the left of x is equal to 5. Now x is equal to 5 is the region of x is less than 5. And the region to the right of x is equal to 5 is x greater than 5. Much the same way if you take a line over here. Suppose you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and maybe 11. So this is again a line which is parallel to the y-axis. Now here on this line every point has x coordinate as minus 11. So the equation of this line is x is equal to minus 11. Again the region to the right of it is x is greater than minus 11. The region to the left of it is x is less than minus 11. But if you take this entire region along with the line it will be called x is less than or equal to minus 11 and this along with this line is x is greater than or equal to minus 11. So here we are considering the lines which are parallel to the y-axis. Similarly, we could consider lines that are parallel to the x-axis. So they are going to be like this. So let's take one of them. So we on the y-axis we count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's take this particular 9. This point has coordinates 0, 9, 1, 9, 2, 9, minus 1, 9. So if you draw a line like this, this line would be y is equal to 9. So we have y is equal to 9, y is equal to 8, y is equal to 7. All these lines parallel to the x-axis will be of the form y is equal to some line. Similarly, just as we have the regions x greater than 5 and less than 5, much the same way here, the region above y is equal to 9 contains all those coordinates, all those points whose y coordinates are more than 9. So this is the region y greater than 9. This is the region y less than 9. And here let's take another example. We'll take this particular line. Let's see what this line could be. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But mind you, this is below the origin. So here all the points will have y coordinate as minus 12. So the equation of this line is y equal to minus 12. Again, the region above is greater than minus 12 and the region below is less than minus 12 and the regions including the line would include greater than or equal to minus 12 or less than or equal to minus 12. Let's summarize this in simple format. Whenever we have a line parallel to the y-axis, the equation of that line would be x is equal to some number and that some number will indicate how far away that particular line is from the y-axis to the left or to the right. Yes. So for example, if we have a line parallel to the y-axis at a distance of say 6, so the equation of that line is x is equal to 6. To the left of that line lies the region x less than 6 to, to the left of it, I'm sorry. And to the right of that region uh, of the line is the region that is y is uh, x is greater than 6. Much the same way if you consider lines parallel to the x-axis, they'll be of the format y is equal to some number. Again, the region above that line indicates y greater than that number. The region below that line indicates the region y is less than that number. So here we have simple lines parallel to the x-axis and y-axis which can be easily indicated and the regions associated as far as the inequality goes can be very easily plotted. Of course, we will be reinforcing this when we take up real examples. Now, let's also try to see other type of lines. All lines need not be parallel to the x-axis and y-axis. Let us take up lines which are inclined to the x-axis or y-axis. Let's move to the next graph sheet and see how we can do them.
ओके okay.